everybody. Welcome back to the range. Tom here, and today we are doing this 2 Jet Z for the Four Horsemen build for the month of November. We are going to be turning this into a Mars Crawler. I'll be honest with you, I wasn't really sure how I was going to do it. So why don't we go ahead and head on down to the range and let's get started. You know, I had this thing sitting around, you know, I was like, you know what? Got it just for the four horsemen. I couldn't wait and I apologize for the video being late. I was having a little bit of equipment problems. Uh, I had to order some new airbrush hoses and compressor hose, whatever. So I wasn't able to get this out on time and I do apologize for it being late. Um, I try not to miss any of the four horsemen builds. You know, but you know, life happens sometimes, but that's not going to stop me. You know, whether it's late or whatever, you know, I did miss one this year. It was the Jeep Gladiator build, I think. I can't remember. But, uh, okay. You know, this, 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 uh, this build was actually kind of fun. You know, I started it uh, about yesterday afternoon when I got my new airbrushes in the mail. Uh, I was ready to get started, had them tested out, everything. You know, I wanted to get going on them as soon as possible. I wanted to get started. Um, the first things I, I was going to do, I kind of knew I was wanting to put some kind of different wheels. I didn't want to put tr like actual wheels, like off-road style wheels on there. Um, i seen those on a lot of the other Four Horsemen builds. So I wanted to do something a little bit different. So in order to do that, I literally had to pretty much build all new axles and, you know, just go from there. And you'll see what I'm getting ready to do because I'm not going to try to give it away right now. But I'm doing this for a test fit. You know, I, these ain't the actual pieces of uh, brass rod that I end up using. I end up cutting them to a little bit bigger size because I bent them, moved them around, kind of had to adjust them. So I had to make them a little bit bigger than what I was wanting or than what I was using but these were just a test fit just to see if they would slide in there you know i had to glue them in place you know just use a little bit of insta set but uh you know the mars crawler you know there, there's there's different ways to build the mars crawler and you know i was doing some research on it and i'm like you know what you know i'm not gonna build it like a standard Mars crawler so I'm gonna put tracks on it and I had these tracks I can't remember where I got them from but they didn't have no axles or wheels or anything like that to go with them so I was like you know what I'm gonna use them it's about time to put them to use and I was gonna use them for like a half track or something like that later on down the road but you know I thought this would have been a little bit more interesting to use for the build and I can always get tracks later but all in all, you know, um, a lot of the four horsemen, you know, the video just came out for the 2023 schedule. So you guys be sure to check that out. I'm going to be putting the email for your photoshops in the description for the, the four horsemen. Um, I'm also going to be letting you guys know that if you guys participate in the four horsemen builds, just remember that the entries are due at the end of every month. Yeah, the last day of the month, you know, post it up and everything. If, if you do videos, if you just do photos, you know, you still got to send, you know, send the photos in to the four horsemen email, which will, the link will be in the description. So you guys, you know, if you guys don't have the email, I will be putting it in there. <coughs> Excuse me. You know. I wanted to make sure these 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 track fits, but so what I did was I drilled out the holes of all these wheels that I found just standing around. I kind of I was lucky enough to actually have multiple sets of the same style. The front ones are a little bit smaller. Um, I took some styrene, cut it to size, drilled the hole, put the styrene in there to connect them together to be able to put them on this brass rod. Um, at first I was going to try to get it to where it would roll, but that was a little complicated. So I went ahead and just glued it into place with the wheels and stuff to actually lock them in. So, you know, there was slight modifications 
to the actual body. I never used any of the interior. I literally, what I did was I just took to, took uh, the windshield and just glued it in and painted over it. You know, because there's no interior on a Mars crawler. So, you know, no big deal. But I, I wanted to, uh, like I said, I want, I, you know, first time doing a, this kind of build. And I was really happy with doing it. You know, I wanted it to look good. Um, wanted it to actually look similar to a Mars crawler style. You know, so there was some custom made parts on here. Like, you know, the setting up the wheels set up, you know. Um, I ended up drilling some holes in the side of the, the, the casting to put a bar through to help hold down the tracks. Um, to kind of give it that, uh, you know, kind of tighter look for the track so it didn't look all loose and stuff. And so I ended up make, painting them, putting some styrene on the tips of it, make it look like an extra roller wheel. But as of right now, it, it's really looking good. You know, it's starting to look good. Everything's, you know, connecting into place like it should. So, you know, I, I, I was just trying to... Uh, you know, I, I guess I was, I was just trying to, you know, make it to where everything was pretty much sim, uh, similar for, you know, kind of symmetrical on both sides. Um, sometimes that gets a little difficult, you know, with, especially since I don't really use a tape measure hardly. So, you know, drilling the holes, I was actually lucky that they came out almost perfectly on both sides because I had to drill them separately. And the hardest part was trying to figure out where I was going to drill them to put this bar, uh, this uh, brass rod through to actually be able to hold down the wheels. And the, the brass rod's really easy to bend. So I was kind of hoping it wouldn't bend on me. And I got, I'm kind of clearing away some of the excess glue that ended up on it. So that's kind of what I'm doing here with the razor knife. Um, you know, just trying to clear away all that extra glue built up and stuff like that. Because I did use Instaset. But I wanted it to kind of clear up and, uh, you know, so I could easily put the styrene on the tips as you see here. Uh, well, not really here, but, you know, I got this, uh, where did I get this little satellite dish? It was from a little NASCAR setup that had like a, a big old toolbox with a satellite dish. And I knew I was going to use this for this build. And so, you know, I, I wanted it to, like I said, I wanted to give it that kind of, look uh, of like a Mars car. It's got satellite dish, it's getting radio signals, you know, from, you know, Earth or wherever, you know, the spaceship, whatever's going on. But, uh, you know, I keep test fitting and that's the thing is, you know, mock-up's the key, you know, you keep mocking it up, keep mocking it up, making sure everything's gonna fit and, you know, just to get it to where you want it. And the thing is, a lot of people, they, they ask me, um, how can I build some of this stuff straight out of scratch? And you see here, I'm getting ready to make solar panels, and I already cut it out, pre-cut it out, just trying to get an idea of how I was going to do it. Well, the backstory of how I do, like, my creative skills with, like, my haulers and stuff like that is, believe it or not, when I was a kid, um, everybody, most boys had action figures when they was a kid. You know, I would literally take wheels off of my old, like, RC cars that didn't work anymore or something like that. I'd use the wheels, and I would build a vehicle of some sort for my action figures. And I would build them out of cardboard, styrene, glue, you know, duct tape. Well, not styrene. I didn't have styrene when I was a kid, but I built them out of cardboard literally made it to where hinges open they rolled back and forth it, it was kind of something i did when i was a kid so that's kind of where i get my scratch built uh scratch bleh, scratch build style from from when i was a kid i would build all kinds of stuff i'd build houses i'd build dioramas they look like crap but what do you expect from a kid well me anyway but they, they didn't look as good as what I could do now. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, right now, you guys see that I'm kind of taking some styrene. I'm gluing it to the, the edges. 
because those are going to be like the edge of the solar panels and I'm going to end up painting the inside of the squares where the solar panels was at so I got that look and it, it moves up and down so it, it's not all of it moves I just kind of trimmed it up got it to where I needed it to go um, did what I could to actually kind of make it look like a Mars crawler I didn't do a lot of decals I only did like maybe three decals on this thing because I didn't want to overdo it and plus I didn't have any small American flags to put on it so I didn't really have the size decals I needed for this thing so I just used what I had <clears throat> but if, if you guys remember um, that NASA actually would take Air Force pilots and stuff like that and use them for shuttle launches and you know sh uh, test pilots and stuff like that the Air Force was actually in charge of NASA at one point so I ended up using some Air Force United States Air Force decals for this build just to kind of give it that look and you know the, the whole theme was, you know, I, like I said, I just didn't have the right decals that I wanted to use for it. So I just, I settled with what I had. And, you know, after I sanded it down, smoothed it out, you know, got it to where I wanted it. Then I started working on attaching it to the casting. And, you know, th this, this building, you know, I know it's the beginning of December you know, I still got the December Four Horsemen build I kind of still got to do. Um, I got some builds throughout the month that I'm going to try to knock out beforehand because I'm going to try to get caught up because of the next year's schedule starts a whole new setup. And if you guys haven't, haven't checked that out, you guys should. Um, I'm going to be leaving a link, also a link in the description of the 2023 schedule. So, if you guys get a chance to check that out, please do. I'm begging you, please do. Because there's a lot of good builders on the schedule. There's a lot of good uh, castings. There's good themes. I really am looking forward to doing this year's Four Horsemen. And being the newest member of the Four Horsemen, it, I'm excited about doing it. I'll tell you right now. You know, I always like doing these four horsemen builds. And now to be an actual permanent member of the four horsemen, I know it might sound cheesy, but honestly, since I started watching the four horsemen builds, I've actually wanted to be a part of the four horsemen or some kind of group uh, doing these builds. Cause you know, I, I, I run out of build ideas a lot. I really do. I come, I'm like dumbfounded when it comes to certain builds. And I'm like, well, crap, I can't think of something. But, you know, these four horsemen builds actually help me come up with ideas and actually pushes my limits. And hopefully by the beginning of the year, I'll have a new intro video. I will have a new logo design. Not a new, it's an upgraded logo design. So I'm going to be getting some new channel decals and new channel stickers and stuff like that for later builds. But you guys see here the about the deal with the... Um, solar panels deal that I was working with I was kind of having little issues I had to readjust as I went through and you know all in all it turned out great I really like it it's uh during the process of this video um I kind of am in the it's in the middle of clear coat final clear coat so I'm just waiting for the clear coat to cure before I can put it together and throw it up on the road uh the turntable so y'all can see uh, what I did with this and you guys are probably looking at it like that kind of looks a little weird but once it's painted once everything's put together you guys will see what I mean it actually looks really good and I was really happy with this um, like I said I didn't do I didn't go overboard with everything I really didn't <clears throat> but uh, you know, I really hope you guys participate in the upcoming builds you know we got even some awesome awesome guest builders coming up so please you know stay tuned for my next video stay tuned for the four horsemen builds coming up next year because it's going to be a fun build they are going to be fun builds you know a lot of them are pretty simple builds honestly and they're they're really 
interesting, I should say, especially one of them that Andrew picked. Um, honestly, like some of my builds, I, you know, I, I'll figure something out with them later on. You know, I got some pretty simple ideas, and I know coming from me, you figure guys, you know, Tom does wastelands, does this, Tom does scratch build, you know, all kinds of stuff. And why would I give out simple builds? Honestly, it's my first time as a full member of Four Horsemen. I thought I'd let you guys off a little easy with my builds. So maybe next year I might go a little bit further just to kind of, I, I like testing people. I like, uh, you know, seeing their creativity come out in the open. I, I really do. I like see what seeing what people come up with because I'm one of these guys that, you know, I'll take like different builds and I'll, I'll kind of do my own little thing with them. And that's what I love about this community. I love about everybody I talk to about die cast cars and stuff like that. Everybody has their own style. So why don't we go ahead and check out what we started off with. This nice little red 2 Jet Z Hot Wheels. You know, pretty low to the ground. You know, pretty simple. Didn't have really big problems with the casting, you know, at first, you know, cleaning it up and stuff and everything turned out great. Believe it or not, I didn't use my steel wool, but that's okay. But without further ado, let's check out the final results. <laughs> 